Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Super Mega Baseball 2 and the Electro Sports League and Bulldozer Power. This is it. This is the one. This is the uh, this is the big one here. This is the game. This is the, where it all matters. Uh, everything's got a moving in notes. Hold on. Yeah, right. No, but anyway, it is. That's the thing that's happening is core blimey, governor. It's, uh, it's only Cheerio flipping ink. Uh, Lance Splendid on the mound for them today. Uh, let's have a look and see who we've got going on in the team. Uh, well, Margot's up uh, in the rotation, but she's not ready. Uh, she is. She's not up for this. Uh, Fuegas looks to be our best bet. Uh, yeah, maybe. Or we we could put Feetum in, although his mood's not the best. Uh, let's have a look. Well, regardless, Margot ain't it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be Margot. No, nope, Feetum is unfit at the moment. Uh, also, he gave up quite a lot last game, so uh, so we don't want to do that. Ominous Bob's available. Uh, but no, it's going to be Fuegas. Fuegas is our best pitcher that we've currently got uh, sat there waiting to pitch. So, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Beautiful day. Uh, it's a good day for some baseball. We're away. We're on the road. We're at Cheerio Inc.'s home stadium. And, uh, and I hope to make these people flipping miserable. Uh, anyway, we are up to bat first. And that means uh, it is... Your favourite and mine, Cindy Vapid, uh, to get us underway. Who knows how she's going to play today? One thing we know for certain is she's not swinging at that one. No, we don't swing at the first pitch. There you go. Right, ball one. Cindy now getting focused. Wow, you <laughs> gently does it. Now, it's a big game, uh, but that doesn't mean... Oh, no, well... Whatever, she soaked up four pitches, and that's enough. I mean, if we can wear out their starting pitcher uh, quickly, that's that's a good thing to do. Uh, it's Mr. Bingo Hazmat, uh, captain of the uh, FBS Stardozer at the time of recording. And he's he's done enough there to get on base. Excellent work, good show. That's all right. First hit of the day is always a good one. Here's Bam Bam. And uh, she's, she's got a little bit to prove. Exactly whether she can be bothered to prove it or not remains to be seen. Ball one there. No, not uh, not having that. She'll have that though. And out. Oh, good catch. Yeah, she didn't really get enough of that one. So, uh, so bam, bam, up there for not a lot of effort. Here's Shamrock, who uh, has a tendency to ruin all of our aspirations. Well, all right, that was a pitch out. Really? You're, you're scared of... Uh, your, did you, uh, why would you be scared of man who gets team out? Oh, flipping it. That was high. You just swing into that. Strike two. Yeah, that's a ball. Okay, just soak up the pitches. Whether you get out or not is irrelevant at this point. But uh, you're not out. No, you're on base. Good. That's more pitches we can chew up. Seriously, I'm putting all of my hope into get this starting pitcher off the field. And uh, and then maybe uh, maybe we can do some late scoring to, uh, to lock this one up. Uh, here's Veronica. Uh, she's have, having a good season. Uh, she's not brilliant when it comes to fielding, uh, which is why it's just as well that she is quite good at the batting there. Uh, here we go. Wallop! And that's the side retired. Okay, well, you know, wallop, side retired, so be it. Couple of hits, it uh, could be worse. So, leading off for Cheerio Inc., it is the monster Steve Mastodon. And uh, he is he is a monster. His uh, his record this season is pretty strong. Go on, Fuegas with the snatch catch there. Oh, you beauty, Fuegas. Oh, one pitch, one out. Stitch that Mastodon, you chump. Uh, right, and this is Jeff from IT, uh, who's next up, and he couldn't have his backside slung out more if he tried. Nice pitch from Fuegas, although flipping it, they've got, to, got under that, but Bingo's got it. Come on, team. Excellent work. Here's Tonya Spangle. She's also pretty handy. In fact, you know, given that the team is 15 and 2 this season, they're all pretty handy. Uh, that's ball one. Apparently, I fooled them, but uh, that would usually require them to actually swing at a ball. Uh, you, you clearly weren't that fooled. Uh, come on, there, uh, Fuegas. Oh, that's a good hit as well. Veronica's there. She's as close as she can be, and that's out number three. Nice work, team. Side retired in short order. Excellent work. Here comes Ulysses' failure. Uh, he's having the, the same kind of season he always has. 
Bit of this, bit of that. That's a nice hit though, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. That's why we said it was a nice hit. And, uh, and failure makes a double off that one. Excellent, excellent work. Uh, here comes Steve Murray, uh, recently back from his, uh, his latest sabbat uh, sabbatical. And uh, he's batting 400 this year. That's all right. Wallop. No, no, no. No, it didn't feel like a wallop, that one. We'll let that one go. That's good. So's that. Good work, Steve. Stay calm. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, uh, Steve Morrie is uh, going for a stroll. There he goes. Look at that. That's about as fast as he moves if he's actually hit the thing and has got to really sprint for it. It's Tintin. Uh, he's, had, he's got nine home runs this year. That's nice. Uh, one, of, one of the more understated players on the team is Tintin Hollywood, you know? Uh, we probably could have got home off that, but no outs at the moment. Now, this could quite quickly change. Uh, Fuegas is batting 3 3 3 3 3 3, uh, recurring uh, for the year. Uh, so uh, I've got absolutely, and there's no pressure on him to do anything at all. Lance Splendid has now uh, pitched 26 pitches. Well, I think you've given yourself out there, Fuegas, haven't you? But that's okay, you're, you're the pitcher. We don't need you to be brilliant. All right, Cindy, now's your time to shine. Here it comes. Well, obviously, that wasn't the one that was coming. The next one, though, that could be it. Uh, yeah, good pitch, but terrible swing from, uh, from Cindy there. That one was a little low. Cindy Vapid. In the zone. Ball three, strike one. She's focused. And that's a walk, and we got a run. Hey, hey, good. Bulldozer of Power taking the lead. Uh, one out in the second inning, and here's Bingo Hazmat. Uh, Bingo has been known to get it all wrong, but he's also been known to get it all right. Uh, so uh, we'll see what this one's going to be. Ball two. Yeah. Wallop! There we go. Bingo gets another one away, and that's another run. Smashing. That's exactly what we want to see. Tintin's currently the uh, the runner on third. Uh, he's got a little bit of pace, uh, but we're, we're going to hope we don't need it, because uh, uh, here's Bam Bam. As ball one. Dare we dream of a Bam Bam home run. Strike one. She's, uh, she's waiting. She's taking her time. Whoa! Takes evasive. Ball three. Strike one. Wallop! Up to centre field and Bam Bam bats in a run. Ah, good, 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 good. Keep it going. It's all good. Oh, and here's the end of the inning coming up uh, with Shamrock Bubble Jets. Shamrock. Ball one. Okay. All right. Okay. Ball two. Yep. Yep. I thought so too. Well done, ump. You've clearly got your guide dog with you. So that's strike one. Strike one there. Oh, I didn't think so. Smash. No, that's it. That's your, that's your job. Shamrock retires the side there. Um, daft. It was fairly inevitable. We did get three runs. Three runs is a good thing to have, and we have that now. Uh, here comes Plastic no, Vicar, no, no, and uh, he's batting over 500 this year. That is a heck of a performance. Uh, well, let's uh, let's see if he's got any uh, any tricks up his sleeve. Go on then, go on then. Shamrock's under it. Shamrock's under it. Get under it, Shamrock. Oh come on, put the effort in, man. You could have had that up and over the railing. You would you'd have been yeah, that would have been golden. But it wasn't. Instead, it was just a foul. Strike two. And uh, we'll now, uh, we'll bang one in there. Wallop. Well, it's high, it's up, but failure's there underneath it. And how's that? Okay, good, good, good. Here's Flapjack Nope. Uh, he's, uh, well, I mean, they're all having a good season, but he's having a good season as well. Not a brilliant season, but a good season. Okay, and there goes the Bam Bam Dive. Nothing doing there. And, uh, and then the Flapjack will get to first base. That brings up Tasty Dave. How tasty is he? We will find out in mere moments. Fuegas with the first pitch. That's good. I'll sling that at first, take the easy out. Jobs are good. Tasty Dave, not that tasty. Here's Terry Partizan. And uh, she's, got, uh, she's got a look about her that says, Hi, I'm Terry Partizan. Strike one. I mean, for a pitch that went a bit wild there, stayed in the strike zone and we got the money for it. 
There's ball one. Yeah, keep you guessing there, Terry. What's it going to be? Oh, Terence shouldn't have swung at that. No, that was a that was a terrible decision on your part. And there's a strikeout for Fuegas. Lovely job, side retired, and uh, having given up only one hit so far. That's that's the business right there. Uh, so right, well that brings up Veronica again. Uh, still batting 500 for the year, even with a with a, a, a non-action the first time round. Apparently that was a strike. All right. If she's quick, which she isn't, uh, I mean, she takes a while to get them big log links of hers up to speed. Uh, once she is at speed, she almost pushes the uh, the earth at a slightly higher rate of rotation. There's failure. He's gone for the fence, but I'm not sure it's got the min 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 Yes, it has. It has the min 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 and failure gets a home run. It's all very good right now. Everything is blowing bulldozer failure. And uh, I'll talk about wind direction there. Um, and uh, yeah, so that brings up Steve. Steve Mori. Bash! Steve Mori there. Nice hit. Gets himself onto base. He had a walk first time round. That would have, that was the next thing that I was going to tell you, you know, if he, if he was at the plate still. But as it turns out, unnecessary. Here's Tintin. Bash! And that one's gone out to left field, and Tintin gets on base. Steve advancing to second, and uh, we're making this pitcher feel really bad about himself. And I don't mind that at all. Is Fuegas Kowalup? He might have killed the team there. Not quite. Almost killed the team. Uh, Fuegas managed to scamper up to first. So uh, you know it's okay. We've got uh, we've now got a runner on third, and here's Cindy trying to capitalise on that that's uh, 50 pitches now for this pitcher that might be yeah it's hard oh, it was a good it, i mean it was a good bit of fielding can't uh, can't entirely blame cindy for that one as much as you lot will obviously you know you're you're a bunch of cindy vapid haters uh and now frankly i i won't stand for that uh that's uh, barney woodward uh who's uh, he's not one of mine but uh, yeah, there you go oh suck it up barney uh, you swung at that one. Good, man. That one's gone to Fuegas, who will casually toss it to first, and that's out number one. Uh, so the opposing pitcher has made 50-plus pitches at this point, and here he is now. And they're not pulling him. Uh, meanwhile, Fuegas has only made 16 pitches. So we're managing to keep Fuegas nice and fresh. Oh, you fell for that one, you jive turkey. Which is a thing that people say. That one's up in the sky. Steve is looking for it and has it. Out number two. Well done, Steve. Good job, good job, good job. Speaking of Steve's, here's Mastodon. Uh, who's looking... Uh, well, I mean, you know, this is... I, I don't know what it is about people called Steve. Uh, but they're, uh, you know, they have a tendency toward being a bigger lad. And Steve Mastodon is the biggest of big lads. And that's, uh, that's number one there that's gone uh, out into the crowd. Here comes number two. Smack. Bam Bam's got it. She throws to first. And get yourself off my field. Or your field, Mr. Mastodon. And that's the side retired. Three innings down now. Uh, Bordeaux's of power leading four to nothing. In fact, sorry, four to nothing. There you go. See, you might have thought that that two meant something. It doesn't. It didn't want. It was, it was not that kind of two. Bingo has Matt. No. Ball one. Nope. Not, nope. Not interested. Try again. There you go. I'll have that one. No, that's gone foul. Okay. All right. Smoosh. No, that, that, I mean, literally smoosh. And honestly, I've got to get out of the habit of just yelling wallop or something every time I hit the ball because, you know, unless it actually is a, a humdinger of a pitch slash slap pitch ball thing. Well, bam, bam there with a nice hit. See, that was, that was adequate. Good job, Bam Bam. Bam Bam getting on base. And, uh, all right, okay. One down, uh, one out, and uh, one on base. And Bubble Jet. Well, oh, well, we shouldn't be too down on Shamrock Bubble Jet. He has come through for us on a regular basis. Uh, let's see if what, this is one of those times. Uh, strike one, ball one now. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, that one, that was a bit wild there. Have at it! Uh, Shamrock puts that one away. Oh, it's Chansey. And it's a nice slide there from Bam Bam to take the extra base. 
Uh, Veronica Hammock now, 0 for 2 today. Uh, scoring opportunity with Bam Bam on third. Here it comes. She didn't like that one. No, come on, Veronica. That one was low, Veronica. It was low. Okay, we, we, we lost a player, but we got an in. We'll call that a sacrifice play. It was, it was effectively a bunt from Veronica, uh, but that's all good. Here is Ulysses' failure. Uh, home run, last time he was here. I mean, you know, I'm going to remind you of that. Every time he's at bat from here on in, in fact, I'm going to say, you know, he had a home run earlier on in the game. He really is that good. Uh, ball two, strike one. That's ball three, failure, not, uh, not amused. And not in fact having to hit the ball, he's going for a stroll. Fastest player on the team, you know. No, you wouldn't have thought it to look at him, but apparently he is. That's uh, just a fluke of nature there. Big lad who can properly shift. Speaking of big lads is Steve Murray. Uh, runners on bases. Sorry, I was looking, I should have been looking at the pitch. That was a beauty. Um, right, come on, Steve. No, 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 never mind. No, you, they can't all be golden there, Steve, can they? No, mate, no. So another scoring opportunity, what perhaps wasted there, but uh, but even so, another run in that inning uh, takes Bulldozer Power to five. Now, obviously, we know from bitter history that these kinds of lead can be quickly uh, chipped away at, and then you know ultimately, ah, oh, so that's a nice hit. Veronica's there; she's in the zone, but it's over the fence, and that's a home run. Uh, Jeff from IT there popping one away. Uh, fortunately, no one else on base, so it's not the end of the world. That's his ninth of the season and his 24th run batted in. Said it at the bottom of the screen so I read it for you. Here's Tonya Spangle and she's uh, she's got this uh, kind of samurai uh, appearance of her batting stance there. Smoosh and come on Veronica. No, no. Asking Veronica to get there quick. See look I mean Bingo's made it there faster. Chuck it a third Bingo. Um, yeah, no Veronica she don't move quick. Uh, for a centre fielder she's really not that mobile. I mean, we might have to uh, we might have to consider bringing Zoltan back on. He is slightly faster. Uh, that one's in the crowd. Okay, all right. Okay, this is uh, just so you're aware. It's a plastic vicar who did nothing first time at bat, but then you know, none of none of the uh, none of the Cheerios have really done very much as yet. Yeah, I mean they got a home run and they've now got a runner on third. But I say you know none of them have done anything as of yet because they will do presently. You can't have a 17 and 2 team uh, just get absolutely whipped. Uh, that's that's not how this game is going to play out. Strike two, lovely pitch from Fuegas, and uh, here's his famed uh, fastball. All right, well it was fast in, fast out. Veronica's making a move. It's off the fence. Uh, that's, un that's unusual. And uh, they're going to get three bases off. Oh no! Decided to come back again. Got a run. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, well, we uh, they're not rolling over and dying, which is rather disappointing. Right, there you go. And, oh, no. Could we not just... I know it's foul, but could we throw that a second and maybe get a run out there because they were trying a steal? Evidently not, because I'd, I'd, even, I'd even thrown it the wrong way. Who wants it? Tintin's there. Tintin's going for it. Bash. Good. Throw it home. Good. Right, good. Another out. Uh, that brings up Terry Partizan. Uh, a home run and eight runs batted in this year. Terry is obviously one of the quieter members of the team. Maybe, uh, maybe coming in to replace someone who's uh, hurt, wounded, or lost. And that one's up in the sky. It's going in the direction of Cindy, who, who claims to have it. And does, unless the side retired. So a little bit of damage done in that inning. But uh, as long as we keep scoring, then we'll stay in the lead then, won't we? Uh, so, Lance Splendid, he's had enough. And they're bringing on Raimundo Mulberry, who is a heck of a pitcher, but his, uh, his fitness is not primo. Strike one. We'll always give him the first pitch. Tintin not really getting a lot out of that flipping neck. He can shift. This pitcher, he's got some moves. He's got some, uh, he's got some aggro about him. Uh, Fuegas is still perfectly capable, so we'll keep him in. And Fuegas with a nice hit to centre field will get on base for the second time today. Very good. I mean, you didn't even get anyone out this time, Fuegas. That there was no one to get out is neither here nor there. And that brings up Cindy Vapid. And out. Oh. 
I was really hoping that Cindy Vapid would wipe the grin off the pitcher's face there, but it was not to be. Here's Bingo. And we've got to soak up a few of this fella's pitches because they've got some proper zip on them. Uh, that one's gone down the side of the foul line there, and that's uh, one and one the count. Flipping heck, his fastball's a right monster. Still, is it monster enough? No, it's not. And, uh, and Bingo gets himself on base for the third time today. And he'll be quite pleased about that. Possibly as pleased as I am. And I'm quite pleased. Here's Bam Bam. No, don't want it. Not interested. Try again. Nuh uh. Return to sender. Fadoom! No, not Fadoom. You're out. And that's the side of tired. So this is the uh, this is the bulldozer power there getting out for no return uh, as the new pitcher makes himself uh, known on the field. Uh, anyways, here's Fuegas. Uh, 30 pitches uh, down the pipe for him so far today. Bam bam! The uh, bam bam dive there. Always a classic. Always completely useless. Uh, but uh, you know, so she, she keeps trying. Here is that new pitcher of theirs. Now, how far are we from subbing Fuegas? Maybe another inning or two. Yeah, because we could take this guy out right now. Nah, 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 nah. Keep him in. Win, win with honour and legitimacy. All right, okay. We're going to try and win with honour and legitimacy. If this guy ends up ruining our batting for the rest of the day, oh, <laughs> you missed. Um, then uh, you know we'll review that later on. Now that one's a foul, mate. That's that's no good. Uh, what else might fox you? Fuegas' slider's been quite effective today. Let's try that. It's gone a bam bam. Throws a second. Throws first. What happened there? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Did we get him out? I'm pretty sure we got him out. I'm not so sure we did, you know. I think he's still there. I think he made it the first. Or maybe we caught... I didn't see if we caught it, you see. Uh, I must have blinked at an inopportune moment. Steve Mastodon's currently batting, but I'm perplexed as to what happened on that last play. Uh, anyway, that's... Uh, that's two and nothing uh, for Mastodon. See if he goes for this. Yeah, he went for it, but he hit it. Uh, all right, bring out another one. Let's, uh, let's try that. We'll keep pitching just on the right on the periphery of the everything uh, and see if, he, see if he falls for it. Hey, that one was a strike. Oh, you can shake your head at the ump, mate, but I've had enough of those uh, to know that sometimes uh, the ump gives a really terrible call. And you know what? As long as he calls it my way once in a while, I'm flipping comfortable with that. Uh, this is Jeff from IT. He's got a home run. Uh, he's also got two strikes now. Right, what are we going to finish him with? Well, Jeff's slider's been pretty... pretty uh, who's Jeff? Fuegas. Fuegas' is slider. All right, well, whoever slider it is, it's done the job he's out. Uh, good, right, side retired. So the fifth inning there, totally scoreless. And uh, The Rock, Shamrock, Bubble Jam. He's had, a, he's had a double for crying out loud. Stop dissing him. Yeah, he got everybody out in the first inning, but he hasn't done any harm since then. All right, okay. I'll maybe, I'll maybe stop rinsing him uh, with my verbal rapier. All right, good. Because, you know, no one likes to be rinsed with a rapier. What sort of a hit was that, Sham? Oh, my goodness. All right, Shamrock there, going for a bit of a sit down. Uh, Veronica hasn't had a hit today, but she did get, well, she has, sort of. She got a run batted in, got herself out in the process. But, you know, they can't all be golden, although that one isn't either. Veronica's out, and that brings up uh, two for two. Uh, Ulysses failure, home run he had earlier on today, you know. Uh, he's also had a double and a walk. He's been doing it all. And this time, he's doing the I'll be out, please. And so he is. Uh, failure there goes to sit down and uh, bulldozer power with a nothing inning going on there and that brings up Tonya Spangle who's uh, one of two she's gone for that slapped it oh oh beamed that small child in the brain there and uh, well you know that's what small children get sometimes when they're not paying attention in a potentially hazardous situation uh, that one has gone out to uh, right field where failure is uh, gesticulating wildly and has it Well, Plastic Vigor th Vicar thinks he's a big dog, but he really isn't today. Uh, he's, he may be batting 500 for the season, but uh, he's batting nothing uh, today. He's uh, completely intimidated by the radiant beauty of Fuegas' hair. 
Uh, let's face it, we all are. And he's he's oh he's done well there. No, he's he's done all right. Yeah, he's going to get on base. Yeah, all right. Okay. He only gets on base. He didn't get any further than that. So that's perfectly acceptable. His flapjacker of the nope, uh, chewing on something there, the cud perhaps. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see if he's uh, up to the fuegus. Ah, Shamrock! Oh, come on, Shamrock, you flipping loser! Um, that was an easy catch for Shamrock there, and he just let it flip and fly past, and that could have been a, a really beautiful double play, but it, it wasn't even a single play. It was nothing. It was terrible. And that now has runners first and second uh, for uh, uh, for, for the, uh, the, the people, the, the team that we're playing. Uh, yeah, this is a potentially dangerous situation for Bulldozer Power. Ah, yeah, that one's foul as well, man. You can't have it. No. Right, let's see if we can't fox this dude with a change-up. Here we go. Well, he's he's popped it up back now. That's gone. It's only popped up backwards. All right, let's see if we can't fool this dude with a fastball. Well, we didn't fool him at all. Come on, Veronica. Now, now, now. Yes! Right, they are going for the extra base, though. They're going to try and get down to... They have got to third. Uh, but that's okay. Two outs. Now, if we can get uh, Terry Partizan at the plate, then maybe, just maybe, we can uh, we can save ourselves from uh, from even more loss of uh, everything. All right, okay, that's uh, strike one. Go on, bang that one in there. Okay, that's good. Bam Bam's there potentially. We got three. We got three fielders in the zone, and that's enough. Way bam bam with the catch and that's the side retired. Good save because that was that was pretty chancy. Uh, but we are going to need to do some scoring again. And here's Steve Morrie who does know how to do it occasionally. And this is one of those occasions I thought for a moment he got him, but he hadn't. Uh, but Steve there gets on base, bringing up Tintin Hollywood. Good times for Tintin. Good times. Don't strike at that one, Tintin. I'd leave that one alone, mate. Oh, 10-10. Oh, what were you thinking? Well, he was thinking he was trying to hit it, but uh, it's not happened. Now then, it is... Hold on. I want to think about it. Uh, his stamina is, is waning. What inning are we in? We're in seven, aren't we? Aren't we in seven? I think we're in seven. All right, Fuegas, you've done enough, mate. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sub you. You've had a good game, but we'll we'll try and bring on a hitter here now. Who's the biggest hitter we got on the bench? Uh, Jemima Hurts is pretty flipping solid. Ah, uh, Bernard Dunk. Yeah, he's not that quick, but he doesn't get to, he doesn't get to play that often. Zoltan is a monster, apparently. All right, Zoltan. I'll tell you what. Here's how this is going to work. If you get uh, a hit, no, if you get a double or better off this. Uh, you can come on for Veronica next week. Yeah, no pressure. Ball two. All right, well, it's not a double, is it, Zoltz? No, mate. No, that wasn't a double, that one. That was out. All right, well, Zoltan, Zoltan's done. Uh, Tulip Banter's up in the rotation. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Conservative is in no fit state to play at all. Sally Rhythm is acceptable, and Oscar the Cattle Prod, Cattle Prod, uh, could come in as a closing pitcher, which we will probably use uh, in, uh, in inning nine, if the thing, the game, game, that's what it is. If the game is close, uh, we'll bring Oscar on, but we'll, uh, we'll kick off with Tulip and see if she can't, uh, can't make some damage here. All right, well, that's some damage, isn't it, Tulip? Then that's some damage. Your first pitch gets hit up to centre field. No, 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 no. Here's, uh, Raimondo Mulberry. Yep, they're taking him out. Good. Plastic Swans is coming in. Uh, Plastic Swans, not at 100% uh, fitness, but she is coming in to give it a go. Well, that's, uh, she's done a little shimmy there. I don't know if that's going to affect her pitching one way or the other. Uh, I, I'm just reporting the news. I don't make it. Apart from those times when I do. Well, she's let two easy ones go there. So uh, so let's see what's, uh, what she can make of this. I mean, pop it into the crowd. I hate it when they pop it into the crowd. And on first or second down, it's fine. But, uh, you know, when it's fourth and one, you want to get off my field. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, strike out there for Plastic Swans. And uh, that brings up Steve Mastodon. Now, Steve, I think we can call him a sleeping giant. He's accomplished precious little so far today. 
Uh, but he is a monster of a hitter, and therefore we should expect him to uh, to do well any time soon. Strike one, a ball one, the count, ball two, the count. Oh, come on, flipping tulip, come on, come on, girl. Throw something good. That's good. Yeah, good. Right, get him out. Oh, Cindy, will you please, my? I pressed the button, Cindy, and you went what? Hey, what? Uh, what? And, and, you know, and a double play is turned into a no play, and uh, and as such, we're in big trouble now. No, legitimately, I am not taking the blame for that one. I did the thing immediately. Cindy Vapid couldn't decide exactly what she was doing with that. And uh, the upshot is that we're now in trouble. Again. All right, that's a, there's another chance. Just get the easy one. There we go. Now, they do have a runner on third. Wow, we, which means that we need, a, we need an instant out here. A catch, strike out, either of those things will be fine. Bam, bam, time to shine. Jolly good. Right, there we are. Okay, Plastic Swans goes to sit back down again, and it's April Wildly who's coming in. Not the strongest pitcher we've ever seen, but at this stage, I think the pressure is starting to show on, on Bulldozer Power, and uh, they're starting to become a little bit uh, unhinged around the edges, because that's where you'd put a hinge, you know? Yeah. Anyway, uh, Cindy's letting her warm up a little bit by uh, soaking up three pitches immediately. And then Cindy gets one away for the first time today. And she'll get on base, finally. After a terrible piece of fielding. Just awful. Here's, uh, here's Bingo. He's having a good day. But, you know, that can change quite quickly. Uh, there's strike one. Come on, Bingo. Ball one. Okay. Okay. No! No, no, come on, Bingo, at least get on base, all right? Okay, well, Bingo hit something poor there. He manages to get on base, uh, but we did get an out as well. Here's Bam Bam. Uh, all right, strike one, ball one, Bam Bam, Puck Eye. Everything rests on your ability to get a hit. Strike two. And she's done well, got that one to right field. Runners advance. And that's uh, runners now first and second. Uh, we're going to need a big play. And here is Mr. Big Play himself, Shamrock Bubble Jet. Uh, the big blame question, of course, is uh, usually giving up two outs at once to the opposing team. So, uh, you know, that's not the kind of big play we're in the market for, Shamrock. There you go. Ball two now, strike one. There's ball three. I'll let him walk. Walking is fine. That should do the trick. Shamrock gets a walk and that loads up the bases ahead of Ulysses' failure. No, it's not. No, he's next up. Oh, it's Veronica. Veronica's having a bad game. But that's not bad at all, although she might get caught at the fence. She's caught at the fence. Should have run. Should have made the run there. Should have made the run. Uh, but Veronica almost got one out of the yard. And, uh, and that would have been brilliant. Instead, it rests on Ulysses' failure to do that. He doesn't manage it, but he does get another run. So that's, you know, that's all good. That's, that's absolutely fine. Here's Steve Morey. Uh, opportunity for complete heroism for Big Steve. Strike one. I thought it was, yeah, that was borderline. And Big Steve puts one up to centre field. And that's another, another one of your bases in there run things. Uh, extending the Bulldozer Power lead to five. As uh, uh, Oh, hold on. April Wildley's going to sit down, and they're bringing in Jack Butts, who is their number one pitcher and is a monster, frankly. Uh, right, okay, Jack. Hello. Oh, you're one of these sidearm pitchers, are you? Okay. Flipping heck, there was some zing on that one. And that's a good hit, is it, though? No. That's a bad hit. Side retired. But we did get a couple of runs out of it. Could have got a lot more. But uh, a couple of runs is better than nothing. A lead of five going into the bottom of the eighth inning with Plastic Vicar up to face Tulip Banter. And uh, there's, a, there's a great deal of pressure going on all over the place here. Uh, you know, unsurprisingly, Bulldozer Power looking a little bit nervous. Uh, this is a team that they absolutely need to beat just to prove that they can. It's not going to change the outcome of the season, although Bulldozer Power do need every win they can get their greasy little mittens on. Oh dear, that's two for two in the hit stakes there. And uh, and this, this could be trouble. 
We don't want to bring on Oscar just yet. Uh, we want him. We want him for the ninth inning. Tulip, you got to you got to stay strong here. Get some of these clowns out. Okay, foul. Good. Right, foul, foul, foul. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Tulip. That's it. Good. Yeah. Force a couple of fouls out of them, and then get them to whiff at something uh, hittable. Veronica has no chance that one's a home run and that's three runs for Cheerio and Kiss is gonna come down to the flipping wire. Okay. Well, I mean, more worryingly still, uh, no outs in this inning yet. Uh, Tulip, if you give up another hit, you're sitting down. Tulip gives up another hit there. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. She's had enough. We've, uh, we're, uh, we're getting shot of her. She's not getting it done. We don't, sorry, the microphone there. Getting run over by my chair. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, adjustments need to be made. Uh, Tulip is not accomplishing the goal. So we're going to bring in Oscar and hope he can, uh, hope he can finish off the, uh, the final, couple of, uh, final couple of batters. Look at that. That was an absolute demon curveball. That's pretty good too. Oh, it's not safe! You're kidding! Oh, I took the decision to try and get the runner to second, but instead, uh, we end up losing out entirely. Jack Butts are taking him off. That's a mistake. Okay, and they're bringing in Theo Majors. Well, I, I, I mean, this is a game that has all of the hallmarks of being a game. Runners first and second. Oscar Pat Cattle Prod on the mound. Uh, and uh, a fielding error has potentially opened the door there for a uh, for a, a Cheerio Inc. comeback. Well, I've already had the comeback. Bingo's under that, though. Come on, Bingo. Don't let me down. All right, Bingo with the catch. That's out number one. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's Steve Mastodon. Now, we have spoken about Steve and the likelihood that he causes me to, you know, weep uncontrollably into my keyboard. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's... Uh, Oh, ah, get on the receiving end of the cattle prod, son. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you didn't know if that was in or out. It was out. Okay, there we go. This one's a bit low, but he's gone for it. That's good. Yeah, should have thrown second, but it's okay. One out on a play is acceptable. One out is okay. More than one out is lovely, but one out is fine. All right, okay, here we go. Jeff from IT, he has a home run today. And that's not good. That is not good. Oh, that's, that's a bingo there. He's a bit, bit perplexed as to where the ball went. And that's, uh, that's, a, that's another run in uh, for Cheerio Inc. If they get another base hit there, they will tie up the game. Tonya Spangle now at bat. That one's gone foul, okay. Oscar Cowprod, he's a demon of a pitcher. Uh, but no, there's no one near. Okay, that's the tying run. Possibly more. No, they're not They're not risking it. Okay, game is now all square here at the bottom of the eighth inning. And here's Plastic Vicar. Uh, we've got to get this team out. Got to get this team out. And that one's gone to bingo. That was achievable. It's accomplishable. He's got it. Okay, side of time. Tie, the score is tied. Can you feel it, everybody? Uh, Theo Majors is leaving, came in as a pinch hitter, and uh, Eartha Hatmore is coming in to pitch. Well, you couldn't ask for a more exciting game. Uh, Oscar's up to bat, and we're leaving him in, because I haven't got any uh, any other relief pitchers that are worth much uh, that are on the bench. At least not any that have got any stamina. Um, and if this goes to... Uh, it's, it's a nice hit, Oscar, but it hasn't got, it hasn't got the beans, mate. Out number one. Okay. Well, Cindy Vapid. We've got a score. We have to. We have to get at least a run here. Cindy swinging for the fence again. Not got the cheese. This one. That one's going to be caught. It's not. Cindy Vapid. Yes, Cindy haters. See her very, 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 very narrowly avoid being out and instead getting a home run. Good, 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 good. Right, that's a cushion. It's Bingo Hazmat. Smash! Bingo Hazmat up to centre field there and he gets on base. Okay, now then. Can this be turned into some scoring momentum or is that it? Is Bam Bam. 
Uh, she is the kind of player that can lead to scoring momentum when she feels like it. The question is, does she? Strike one. Bam, bam there, taking her time. Whoa, that one was a little bit uh, up there. Well, it's big, it's high, is it long? Bam, bam, park high, over the ruddy fence. And that's the side uh, pulling into the lead. Three runs there. Uh, now, the, uh, the the lead for Bulldozer Power. Bam Bam Puckeye uh, coming good at exactly the right moment. And uh, that brings up the Bubble Jets. To be honest, we've already got more out of this inning than I was anticipating. That's a nice hit from him. It's a very nice hit from him. He's going to go for second, which is a very bad idea. Shamrock Bubble Jets. Even when the sun is shining, he can make the rain come down. Here is Veronica Hammock, and she's having an absolutely pitiful day. Shamrock got greedy, got out. Veronica, you may be our last at bat today, you know. In a potentially historic, historic matchup. Oh, you should have left it. That was a foul. Uh, just, 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 just wait for it. There you go. Veronica gets a walk. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Good. Speak his name quietly. It's Ulysses failure. Okay. Well, another, another bulldozer power player who has been known. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was, I was getting ready for a big build up for him there. And uh, if he'd have hit that one in a, in a significant fashion, I would have gone really, really loud, and it would have been great and exciting, but it wasn't. Here is Flapjack Nope. Now, no pressure on you, Oscar. All right, none at all. Get him out. All right, a foul. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Good place to start there. Here's pitch two. That's a foul too. Good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now then, finish him. Oh, what? That was not a ball. That ah, well, look semi-legitimate. Strike out for Oscar Pat Cattleprod. That's out. Number one. And the sands of time start trickling. Just a little bit. Not much. Not yet. Here's Tasty Dave. Uh, Tasty Dave wasn't that really tasty earlier on, but when the chips are down, bam, I've got this one. And that's the throw second. The sands of time now moving tor torrent-like uh, through the hourglass of justice and uh, here is uh, Terry Partisan Oscar with the pitch Bosch gone a bam bam this could be it in your face cheerio ink you're nothing you're absolutely nothing that wasn't uh, that was nothing that was yeah that was that was a nothing game that one no pressure at all yeah Boom shakalaka and bulldozer power uh, knock the champions for six, uh, well for ten actually, uh, and it's uh, it's all very 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 good. Uh, good games were had by Bam Bam Puckeye. Oh, I should say so. Shamrock Bubble Jet, flipping it really, yeah apparently. I don't believe that. Anyway, and uh, and Ulysses Failure, they were our uh, our batting stars. Although it should be uh, reminded that uh, Cindy Vapid batted four hundred. And got a home run, two runs batted in. We'll see who the stars are in a moment. Uh, who sucked on the other team? Tonya Spangle, 294. That's, that's not terrible. Lance Splendid, but he's a pitcher, so that doesn't really count. They had a good game as well. They are not a bad team. And there. So, justifiably, Oscar gets the win today. And uh, Hatmore gets the loss. Uh, yeah, three stars. Ah, oh, Bam Bam Pucker, Ulysses, Failure, and Jeff from IT. Uh, well, we've got six games to simulate. Let's simulate them. Uh, it's Bumson's Hospital against the Steganauts, and the hospital's making it look easy. Steganauts wiped out. Uh, Failure Grad are playing Colonel School. Colonel School come from behind to win that 6-4. Uh, the 7-9ers a 1-0 win over the Steganauts. Here's the Kings against the Ocelots. Kings, a big lead and a big victory. Uh, Duck Squad against the Pirates. Pirates have the lead, but Duck Squad with a massive fight back in the ninth inning uh, to win that one comfortably. The Bloody Jesters against Failure Wood Hills. Uh, Failure Wood Hills there, no problem. So, let's have a look at the standings. And uh, that takes Bulldozer Power to double-digit double wins this season. 10 and 7. 
And they haven't done it yet. Or have they? Yes, they have. We've we've qualified. We've we have qualified for postseason. All right. Woohoo! Good. Right. That's that's all we needed to know there. Uh, Bumps and Hospital Steganauts, they both completed their 18 games this year and uh, neither of them will advance. Cheerio Inc. have also completed their 18, finished 15 and 3. A very nice, a very nice result for them. Uh, Miggins Pirates, 7 11. Uh, they're not going on. Uh, Colonel Skull on 9 and 9. They've got no more games to play. They are done. Uh, 10 and 8. Failure Grad FC and uh, Duck Force also 10 and 8. Well, that's fine. If we lose, we tie with them, but we're ahead on run difference. If we win, we're ahead of them. So, uh, so, so we're we're safe. We're through. We're going. Uh, over in bad company, things are a lot more complicated, and yet less complicated. Uh, the pennant appears to be going to the Hong Kong Kings in Tree Gun, uh, who uh, who finish ten and seven. The bloody jesters and failure were both seven and eleven. Uh, in the bombastic, the nomads. I can't possibly have to play the Nomads. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm playing them in flipping sports ball tomorrow. Oh, goodness me. The, the Nomads are something of a bet noir. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are very much a bet noir. Anyway, they're 12 and 5, so uh, they're already through to postseason. The Sloths and Golden Eagles are also both through to postseason, and they have to play each other. Uh, so uh, one of them will be happier than the other, one would imagine. No, we're not playing. Oh, thank goodness for that. We're playing the Sloths and not, in fact, the Nomads. But the Sloths are a decent team, 10 and 7. We're 10 and 7. This is two decent teams going head to head. Um, I, d I know I'm describing myself as a decent team. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, there you go. One game left to go in the, pre in the regular season. Uh, next time around, we'll have a look at the uh, end of season league leading stats and all of that kind of business. And you can you can uh, pontificate and stroke your beard over if you have a beard. Um, uh, or even if you don't try you pretend get yourself a beard for next week so you've got something to stroke and uh and we'll go through the stats and you can go oh yeah i, I saw that coming i mean colonel Fager, thank you very much for watching this has been the electro sports baseball league and bulldozer power cheerio ah so that's the kind of win we like that one most definitely i oh, always nailed it got them got them where we want them and better than that that was the kind of game that you really want to see uh one where uh, you know it's uh, on the edge of your seat with the final inning coming up. Marvellous. Absolutely top stuff all the way. Now, how does this how does this set us up for the end of season run there? Well, anything could happen. I mean, it's it, we've, we've demonstrated that we can still lose games. I mean, you know, we weren't a million miles away from losing this one. But, uh, you know, oh, hey, a few a few wrong decisions here and there and everything. Everything falls apart. Great stuff. Anyway, one regular season of game to go, and then into the playoffs. And who knows what will happen there.